welcome to the Spiritual Reality Show. See, I remembered now, Janet. <laughs> hey, good job. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, this is, welcome. This is going to be kind of a special show because we're going to talk about something that isn't always comfortable or even like, uh, you know, um, well, people may not have experienced it, but we had some interesting experiences this week. So yeah. Ribiga and I are going to share some really, I don't know, something different. So Vivica is going to do the grounding today. So yeah. go oh. right ahead, Vivica. Yeah. I must just say that we were so in tune with what we're going to talk about today. And we were so into that topic that we almost <laughs> forgot. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's time. We got to so go. We apologize. Yeah, yeah. For one minute. We we're over one minute later, at least. Yeah. So we apologize. Yeah. But we're so here. here we go. Let's uh, this grounding exercise is very important today because every time we speak about lower vibrations it's very very important to ground our physical bodies and to open our hearts and to allow the guidance of spirit so please join us as i am going to set the grounding for today and i like to use the breath so we are going to breathe in in unity on three one two three breathing in hold and release two more times breathing in deep down hold and release one last time now breathing deep down hold your breath and just let go And then I want you just to move your attention down to your feet and just watch your rounding cords being taken care of by Mother Earth. See that she is holding you, cradling you, by allowing you to connect with her. And she gives you the most beautiful energy that comes up through your legs and up through your torso all the way up to your heart, filling your heart with purity, with grounding, and with healing, Mother Earth's blessing. And now as you breathe deeply, I want you to move your attention up to your crown chakra and all the way up to your personal star. Just imagine your star as this beautiful radiant light. And as you open yourself up, to connect with your star, allowing now your soul energy to strengthen as you breathe in and allowing that energy to settle within your heart as you breathe out. And experience now that you're breathing with all of you. You're breathing deeply and all the way out into your auric field. And as you breathe, you allow your star to protect your energy field, to fill you with light and love. And I want you now to visualize the golden liquid light given from the universe, from your guide, protecting you now as you breathe in. And allow this protection now to spread throughout your whole body. We we'll even watch the energy as it protects your grounding cords and unifies you and synchronizes you. And you are now in full and total alignment, open and in tune. And I ask now our guides, archangels, the universe to protect our space here today. So only loving energies is present here and now. Thank you. And you can open your eyes and be back here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was beautiful. beautiful. Thank you, Janet. And you go with it. Tell you us your story, please. This is interesting. Okay. So, um, I was at the beach, uh, the shore in the, in, in my state of Connecticut. And, um, we were right across, we were, um, I was just laying on the beach, just sunning. It was getting, it was very windy that day, but it kind of calmed down and it was um, comfortable for me. I like that. 
but I laid down and all of a sudden I saw these two faces pop up. I saw one that looked very, uh, not so friendly. And then the other one I saw was more human, but wasn't really human because it doesn't look like any human I've ever seen. And um, I said, oh no, who's that? I'm like, something's happening here. And then I realized across the, the Long Island Sound is Plum Island, which is a very famous um, laboratory island in Connecticut for um, where they discovered Lyme disease. And Connecticut, of course, was the biggest uh, state to have Lyme develop all through the, you know, the state. And now it's spread all over the world. But that was, I don't know when it was, the 60s or 70s that it developed, maybe the 70s. And, um, and so... Um, I work with a woman who I, I, I did, I did study some dark arts, but yet I don't feel ready yet to take on certain things about it. So this was above my pay grade. And I called on uh, I want a dear friend and mentor, Laura Van Tyne, who does a huge amount of uh, removal of dark energies and galactic uh, portals that are not meant to for the, you know, this realm right now. And so, um, we, we did a huge deep dive on it and th it was a beach full of um, all kinds of dark energy and we had to do a major clearing and um, and it was so interesting because you know, she always asked questions like, well, why are you attracted to Janet? <laughs> and uh, there's a few things I'm learning about myself, which I will tell you more as I do another thing. We have another big event I'm going to do with her and uh, I will find out more about it. But um, it's, uh, it's something that you've probably heard about, but I will tell you in the next session because I don't want to spoil it right now. But anyway, we did clear the beach. It took a couple of days, believe it or not. We did a huge like two hour clearing session and then overnight uh, she was working on it more. And then yesterday I checked the beach just for the heck of it and I could see something. So she went back and checked again and basically it's clear now. But um, there's so many dark energies around right now because we're clearing the planet. We are raising our vibration and they're losing their food source. I mean, our energy is their food source. So I don't know if you believe in this, but this is up to you and your discernment. And um, when we have a bright light, they're attracted to us or any kind of, or if you have anger or fear, they're attracted to you. So it doesn't really matter either way. It got, they're still attracted. So, um, we just have to learn how to protect ourselves. And if we can't protect ourselves, ask for help. Mm -hmm. And I did protect myself, but yet I knew it needed more, that area, there was something going on. So I'm so grateful. Like we got to do that together. It was almost like, I love being able to clear an area and being like, I was alerted to it. It's almost like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm almost feeling like I'm her scout. Now <laughs> we have to go in and clear this area. And so she came in and cleared it and it cleared it for everybody you know it cleared the water it cleared the beach mm -hmm. and so people are going to go there now it's going to be much nicer for them and they don't even know i mean people you don't know but if you leave a place totally drained and exhausted then someone else has taken your energy mm -hmm. you know this is what happened is happening in the last past past couple of years all the things going on has really taken our energy because we've had a lot of fear being put through us We've had a lot of uncertainty and still going on. It's not like it's over yet. It's not. People are getting impatient. And, you know, all this energy is so important to be aware of and also to know that we can release it and we can protect ourselves. And I, I totally believe in protection. I know some people don't, but I do. And um, I've, I've had too many experiences that show me that I need it. So, um it was just an amazing experience. And I'm grateful that I got to see those two beings because I was alerted. It was like, you know, and as Laura said, they, they can't help but show themselves sometimes. It's like, ha ha, I, we're here and you, you can't do anything about it. Well, yes, we can. <laughs> so we did. So know that we're more powerful than we know sometimes. And I mean, if you can't do it yourself, call in the bigger troops, which is what I did. I called in Laura and, and it was wonderful. It was wonderful. So, and I know you yourself, any questions? I mean, what do, what do you no, think about I'm that? I'm just thinking, I think it's important that what you said of calling for help. I mean, knowing your energy and where you're at, if you mm -hmm. ever feel a sense of fear when it comes to dark energies, do not handle them. Exactly. It's just a warning. Just don't do it. You yep. need a bright light to be able mm -hmm. to stand grounded 
and meet that force. It's a really hard energy. And when I say hard, it's because it can really push you in more ways than you can imagine. And that is not something I say to scare anybody. It's just no. a fact. And I've also experienced it firsthand as I've been training to stand grounded in my light. Mm -hmm. And I've done a lot of house clearing. And I remember I just told you, Janet, that I yeah. went to a house. Tell that story. That was an amazing story, Vivica. Unless yeah, you have something it, else. Okay, so some, some people um, contacted me because they had poltergeist activities in their house. And mm -hmm. of course, the children were frightened and the adults as well. I mean, who likes when things is thrown away or things are moving while you're still in the room? I mean, that, that can frighten anybody. Um, and I, I really don't want to know anything prior to going to my clearing because I really want to be in tune and I want to mm -hmm. make mm -hmm. sure that with my vibration, I can read it as pure as I can, not being affected by the people living in the house because they are being fed up on by the energies. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. are actually creating, giving life to that energy. And I don't want to be part of that. So when I came to the house, I was driving up to the house. And I could see these two Vikings walking past the house. And I go, hmm, is there a Viking graveyard or is there anything that's been going on? And so when I walked into the house, I just walked around and I asked her, you know, I saw two Vikings. Do you know if there's ever been a Viking grave or anything being rituals or anywhere where Vikings has been around here. And she goes, yeah, come here. And she pointed out the window straight across the street. There was this small park, if you wish, with old trees and everything. She goes, that's supposedly been a Viking uh, campground somehow. And in that area, they usually had their rituals. And I go, there you go. That's the energy that I was feeling in the house. And doing rituals for... Um, in the, back in that those days, um, and that was pretty scary. I mean, they, they sacrificed um, animals, and not everything was as glamorous as maybe on TV these days. But it was uh, really not glamorous on TV either. Baby. No, you're right. They probably not. They're but not. anyway, um, being Norwegian, I mean, we're proud of being Vikings because we're strong. But that's just you know, you know what we say: the strong Vikings. Um, you know, Vivica is in Norway. Just so everybody who's listening, Vivica lives in Norway. Yes, I'm so Norwegian. A big Viking country. Yeah. Yes. So we have some Viking places around here, and we also have Viking ships that have been found in the the fields not too far away from here, where I live. But anyway, so when I was in the house, I I tried to explain that I could see as I was reading and feeling their energy that at certain points when they would do things in the house that similar could have similarly how do you say it similarly not nah. what symbolizing. do you like? symbolizing yeah symbolizing yes thank you symbolizing uh rituals from back in the days so it mm -hmm. would be a trigger for the energy to come forward to open up because they would be in that vibration for instance mm -hmm. washing sure. poltergeist or low vibration or, or scary movies that would be especially if they were opener. rituals yeah. or, you know, that would be a door opener for that energy to come in. And so when I started to explain this and how they were giving life to this energy that they needed to uh, remove themselves from that way of living or uh, tuning into those vibrations to be able to keep that balance in the house and to bring the light. So we, I gave them new rituals, if you wish, what they were going to do every day that was high vibration that was made of love mm -hmm. light uh, uh compassion and so they started the healing process as a family but also for the house and the whole area so i went usually i go back or at least i tune into the area after i've been there like three weeks a month later just to see how everything is um, functioning or how the energies are working and it is cleared but I can still sense there's energy there, but that low, low, low that was creating that poltergeist activity was no longer yep. there. That's so fantastic. this is things that are you sensitive. You can yeah. do this by yourself, but not like we said, I just want to repeat, yeah. if you're, if you're, do not do it by yourself because yeah. it can mess with you. 
energy wise. And you don't want, Mm -hmm. I've had, I went to a hotel, an old hotel in Oslo, and we actually have a TV show called uh, um, Omnesmacht. What is that in English? It's um, the ghost stories or something. And they were actually <laughs> filming, of course, the same night as I was going to spend, you know, at in the house? hotel. Yeah, they were filming in the hotel. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, no. hallelujah. <laughs> they're going to be, all the ghosts are going to come to me and they're going to run away <laughs> from all the other people. And yes, I was right. And so when I went home, I, and this was early in the days when I didn't exactly know everything that I've, you know, sure. been taught now sure. and know about now. So I've done a lot of mistakes, if you wish, to learn what I today we know. We all do. We all and, do. And, and the energy, <laughs> this drunken old sailor <laughs> just decided to come with me home. And I was like, oh, I, I had to deal with this energy in my energy field for 14 days before I said, okay, this is not working. I'm smelling alcohol. I'm feeling Ooh. like I'm drunk. It is I am not being myself. I can't concentrate. I need to go and get help. And I actually had to go to a store and get somebody to help me release that energy. So I know firsthand how yes. awful that can be. And I know lower vibration. and this was actually a happy guy, more or less. I was just drunk. But you know, That's but the funny. other, the lower vibrations, you don't want to feel that. You don't want to feel no, that. No, no. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because when I was in healing school, you know, we were opening the doors to everything, you know, energy frequencies. And um, I had, to, I was in bed dreaming and all of a sudden I saw this, this face come right at me and I closed down all my portals and I closed everything and nothing happened. Mm-hmm. And I didn't tell anybody about it. And uh, I went to a session with my teacher and she said, Janet, something happened. And I was like, Oh, she knows something. All right. What, what do you, I said, what do you, what do you see? And she said, well, you were psychically attacked, but they didn't get through. Mm. She said it was a really close call and you did a really good job. And I was like, well, thank you. Cause I can't do that. And yet, you know, the other thing, uh, yesterday in the, well, the can I just ask you a question, Jenna, yeah, go ahead. I just want to make sure that the people watching, if you have a similar story or if you have any questions concerning yeah, you, can, you can, uh, please put it in the chat sure put it in the chat because i feel like in this time going through the shift and like you said we're oh, going on vacation we're trying to relax and have fun and you being open these things can happen it's good yeah. you know so, so if you have anything to share or any questions please i'll try to look at the chat and then yeah try to answer it so yeah. go ahead janet yeah. So, I mean, I just, I was able to keep it away. And and so just for something for people to do for themselves, you can put a pyramid of light over you. Um, I, I, you can run salt through the pyramid and then you can also bring up the violet flame yeah. to help clear it and purify it. And sometimes that pyramid can be mirrored out. So if the, en- if the energy is coming out, you can mirror it back to them yeah. and they can take it back. There's different ways you can do it. So that's just one little tip. All you know, you can put. These, I have something you know, too. If if yeah, yeah. say that, what would, you, what would you share? If you're taken by the energies that you're already taken in, like I had this man, nothing inside my auric field, nothing of visualization of protected shield, whatever, yeah. does not work. Yeah. So you need more, you know, help to to actually remove it. Crystals, on the other hand. Okay. And doing a ritual with the crystals, with prayer, and maybe with a healer, that works wonders. You can always use sage for your own. And I usually do that if I feel a little bit yep. out of line, I, if I I've been sage. out with a lot of people. Yep. I use my sage right here. And oh, Palo I, Santo. I do the eight. Palo Santo is very good too. Yes. And and I do it in front and I step into it and I do it one part and I step back yes. and I just make sure that I do that and I really breathe it in and I ask and the grounding. And if you do it out in nature, you're really getting the assistance you need. And that will give you enough energy or pure enough energy so you can do the visualization. But when you're taken and have energy within your auric field, you need to use something stronger. Oh, it's true. It's true. I remember having one client when I was doing my healing work in the house and um, she had something in her house. So I, that was new to me. I was, it was real early. 
was clear. I was tr- thinking I was clearing it. So I, I, I was sleeping. I had a dream that now this thing just came up like a giant snake person mm. came out of me and said, Oh, thank you. I enjoy being here. And I'm like, Oh my God. All right. So I ended up going to my friend who's a shaman and she cleared it for me. Yeah. Because I couldn't do it myself, obviously, because if I took it on, then I didn't want to keep it. So I went to her. So you know what? It's it, You just have to take care of yourself. And don't be afraid to say that you can't do everything. You know, we've yeah. all been doing many, many things in our life and we can't do it all. Sometimes you just can't do it all. And it's just nice like I happen. said last time, Janet, that um, I need a help from my group to heal. Yes, the, what the, happened the with that? I yes. Mean, so we really do need to understand that we're just we're souls having a human experience. We're here to learn and we're here to expand. So whatever gifts you have, we still need to learn how to expand that and use that. And so the, the strongest, um, my spirit guide, Zarius, he always says that it's the um, connection between souls to souls is where magic resides. Right, so the magic right. of us helping and coming together mm-hmm, and unifying, mm-hmm. that is just imagine one flame here we are two janet and i we can assist each other now we have all of you assisting us in this sacred space we can clear so let's do that janet shall we would you love to do a clearing for everyone who's here today sure let's clear the space i think that would be wonderful all right so let's just um put ourselves if you have your feet on the ground that's good if not just visualize those roots again going down into the earth make sure you're connected to the earth and i'm sorry um, janet i do apologize i just want to say we didn't mention that i might fall into a trance okay oh that's right this is what happened last time yeah and she had to stop herself but if you have something that is coming through because vivica channels she please come through and just bring through whatever you need to do you sure you don't want to do this yourself? Maybe you need to do it today. No, uh, if if it, they're coming through, then it's better that. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right. So everybody just take a nice deep breath again. And blow it out. And one more time. Great deep breath. Down into your belly and then blow it out. And then visualize around you this beautiful pyramid of light. And this pyramid of light has a, a little opening at the top connecting to the, the stars, connecting to your personal star, which is your soul family. And as this energy, oh, this pyramid, I can just see this, this bright ball of light in the center of this pyramid now. It's right there with us. And it's letting out spokes of rays of light coming out of this ball of light and this dear friends galactic travelers humanoids of mother earth i do greet you and ask you to open your hearts to acknowledge that your presence here today is no coincidence we are united We all stand united in the hopes of creating a new earth. And as you are walking on Mother Earth, as you are taking your tasks as humans, allowing your souls to come forward and to unite, you allow yourself to be the pride of Mother Earth, to bring the light and to bring the love. You are not alone. We are gathered in support of each human journey. We walk next to you. You are not able to acknowledge us through the human mind. But as you now awaken, you will experience us. You will see us in the skies. You will see us walk next to you. You will join us as you recognize individuals through the human experience that you acknowledge of being of another dimension. All of what I speak is not here and now. It is for you to allow this knowledge on wisdom to come forward. We are joined hand in hand as you humans call it. 
to walk next to you and to bring the love. Remember, my friends, that the strongest vibration is unconditional love. And you as humans must remember not to be disguised within the ego mind that will seduce you in knowing that there is not something else that your heart desires. You, my friend, must be true to who you are, to clear and purify your minds as the low vibrations will be released and you will be enlightened. You all are enlightened. How you acknowledge this is how you interpret yourself as a human being. Your perspective, my friend, is of great importance for the human condition. So allow yourself now to be free. Release yourself. That's what I ask, my friend. And for that, we send you grace and gratitude. Farewell. Thank you. I feel that bright light was your channel coming through. And this energy is now flowing into us. This light, this ball of light is now flowing into our hearts, filling us up with that unconditional love. I can just feel it filling me up. Allow that energy just to come into your heart, filling you up through all your body, all your cells. This is unconditional love. You're never alone. You're always loved. Let go of the fear. We are so much more powerful. We are meant to keep moving forward in our frequencies and vibration. And no matter what, we can rise above it together. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all beings of light who are here right now. We are so grateful. Take a deep breath. Open your eyes. Wow. That was fast. <laughs> he came right in. Was that Zarius? No, that was not Zarius. Yes, this is somebody new. Who is yes, this today? Somebody traveling on the GTS. I knew that would happen, so I actually wrote down GTS before we started today. Okay. So it's the GTS is the galactic traveling system, and sometimes energy comes forward through that traveling system. So there can be different, um, what do you call it, um, energies from different dimensions, and but all high vibrations. I've trained mm -hmm. myself, or with the help of my spirit guide, of course, to allow only through the high vibrations. So I've sure. experienced um, lower vibrations, which really, because you need to learn both, yes. <laughs> but with the protection yeah. of my spirit guides. So this energy, I, I really don't know who it was. They only know that they're called the, um, they call themselves the uh, observers. So they observe what we do. They're, they're all around us. And they also said that they're part of the ones who makes the corn circles. Oh, really? You mean the, oh yeah, the crop circles? The crop up. yes, there you go. So they crop make circles. the designs in the crop circles? Yes, they do. Some oh, wow. Mm, they're that's part of very that. cool. That's very, that's very cool. Well, that was beautiful. So I hope who that knew? helps you all. I, hope, <laughs> I feel the energy myself. I just feel so much lighter from that. And I hope it makes you all feel lighter. I did pick a card today and guess what it was? Oh. It's Warrior S. This way. I got to get wow. this right. Read it. Next, this the other way. way. The other way. Uh, there you I'm go. <laughs> warrior S. And the Warrior S, and all this is for men and women because you all have masculine and feminine devotion, assertiveness, and focus. And it's the number seven, which is interesting because it's, mm. you know, we have our seven chakras, even though it's moving. And we have uh, Zarius and the order of seven, which are my spirit Oh, guides. wow. That's in, that's right. That's right. So weaving the golden thread of humanity's kingdom, I see what needs to be transmuted and perfected anew. 
With bravery, take off the mask and allow your shadow to reveal itself to you. There is nothing to hide, so welcome it with your arms wide open. True acceptance and love alchemize us. Compassion is a strength. Let it heal you and the world. Warrioress is a sacred mix of the femininity of the goddess with her soft, intuitive, and receptive qualities and the more goal-oriented, driven, and externally focused side of the masculine. Mm -hmm. She is the divine feminine in her assertive role as protector and defender of what she holds dear, freedom, equality, and compassion for life. The warrioress has the sensitivity and empathy of caring, along with the courage and strength to fight for what she's devoted to. Warrioress energy is the spirit of speaking your truth, exercising your will, honoring commitments and responsibilities, showing strength and celebrating sensuality. In the new paradigm, the sacred masculine is characterized by confidence without arrogance, rational thinking without a need to control, honor without a desire for war. He provides stability, strength, and courage in an ever-shifting world. The divine feminine brings a deep wisdom rooted in trusting one's intuition and heart. She is a passionate, creative, and life-giving force. The divine feminine supports deep, heartfelt nurturing of all creation. In this painting, and it's hard to see because... Uh, you know, it's a little, it's going to be a little hard because of, let's see, okay. I don't know if you can see, yeah. I'll hold it up. Yeah, oh, beautiful. Is What kind of animal was that higher up? I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Um, Come on, Jen, you can do this. Uh, there you go. Yeah. There's a butterfly. Yeah. When the warrior steps in the painting, the Black Panther spirit over oh. her heart center, mm. representing the power of love. Above her crown chakra is an iris, symbol of awakening consciousness. Butterfly spirit and hummingbird spirit are also her allies. Her eyes and focus are those of jaguar spirit mm. and um, representing authority and integrity. When warriors, warrioress steps forward from the cards, it is a reminder for you to be in alignment with your deepest purpose and apply yourself to it with open hearted fierceness. Focus your attention on what true, you're truly devoted to and assert yourself 100% in the direction you want to take your life. The warrior spirit will strengthen and guide you and your love and devotion towards your purpose will ensure its complete success. Mm. So sorry about it. It's a little weird with the yeah, I see it now. We have satellite images here. So yeah. it's the same. Uh, I love this uh, gentleman who does this artwork and he does it. It's um, John Arthur Mosley spirit cards. So there's John. Come on, Janet, you can do this. <laughs> I always have there we go. Ones. There we go. You can order it online yeah. if you want it. It's really, it's been the most magical deck for me. I have a lot of decks, but this one just keeps calling me. So um, I, I have a quote. Do you want me to read the quote? Yeah, let's uh, end, uh, end with a quote, shall we? Yeah. Thank you, fear, for leading me to love. Thank you, confusion, for leading me to wisdom. Thank you, Joy, for leading me to myself. I love that. I love All that. Right. That's yeah, beautiful. I think it's a very good energy to end with. Yeah. And I must just say thank you. Thank you to all our spirit guides, everyone who's been here today, who's holy sacred space for us. We appreciate it. We feel blessed. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And hope you enjoyed our spiritually raw talk we try to be as real as we can be because this is what we're all going through we're going through ours and you're going through yours mm -hmm. so um thank you and all we're for going being with here. the flow <laughs> and we are going with the flow so whatever's coming up in our lives which we're sharing because we know you're going through stuff too so you could be going through the same thing but don't know how to put words to it so we try to put some words to it because we've got a few more words because we've been doing it for so long <laughs> so um love you all and thank you vivica Thank you. I have, yeah, hope hope to see everyone soon again. Uh, I yeah, just we'll know before we end, time. just saying that we are having a break from live because holiday, I think it's 14 or three weeks. We'll, we three will, weeks will be off, but we will have a recorded event that we're going to put out yeah. on um, the next the few um, weeks. So don't worry, you'll see us live again, but we did want to keep you in, you know, connection. So we will be bringing you our, our own recorded show with what we feel is the moment, yeah. what we need to share at the moment. 
I just want to invite everyone who's watching to, um, if you have any topics that you really feel that you would like some clarity on, I'm sure we've, you know, looked at it, both of you, both of us, Janet. So oh, yeah. we'll be happy to assist. Just let us know, send us an email and uh, I'll make sure the emails are in the episode description. So you can. Yeah. Read. Yeah. We love, we love, uh, hope you're enjoying the topics and you know some of them are harder to bring out but you know what that's what's happening in the world and that's what's happening with us so yeah all right we love you guys love you thank you